What's up guys, we're back here again with another video. Today's actually a special one. I have my two mounts behind me, my biggest axis and my biggest white tail to date. I got both of them this year. So I thought you guys would want to know about this and all the stories and everything that happened. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I actually chose to show you guys this one first. Probably because it was the most memorable and I got him with my bow. So what actually happened was I had a bass fishing tournament on Lake Travis the morning of opening season. So I couldn't hunt, I was pretty bummed. But in the evening, I rushed home, got in the blind a little bit late, and about 45 minutes later, he came in. And he was just a hoss, man. I had so many pictures from months prior of him, and I was like, man, I love this deer. So the other deer at the feeder just made a lane for him. Everybody has moved out of the way. You could just tell he was the boss around there. But So he came in about 18, 19 yards, and I made a decent shot. I got one lung on him, and then what actually happened was once it hit the lung, it kind of went up and hit the spine. So he just dropped, but he bled out pretty fast, and it was successful. So... Yeah, he's a hill country low fence nine pointer actually from Candelia, Texas. So I harvest him and man, it was a great hunt. I'll never forget it. Bow buck, nothing beats a bow buck. Okay, last but not least, we got my low fence free range axis here. I actually got him in Candelia, Texas. So what happened with this guy was I had hunted him for about two to three weeks and he would come in and then he, he would get super spooky and leave. And I'd actually watched him fight some of the smaller bucks a few times. But, um, so what had happened, I had a bass fishing tournament the morning of the day that I harvested him. But the evening, same thing. I rushed home, got in the blind, and I was like, gosh, I'm going to get him, I hope. But he had not really been coming to this feeder. I just had a gut feeling that he was going to come in. So what happened was... The does, there's about six or seven of them that he was with, came in and a small axis buck with them. And I was like, gosh, where is he? And then about 10 minutes later, he actually steps out. And I was hunting with the 270 because they started to get a little bit spooky and stuff. So he stepped out and he was perfectly broadside and I just smoked him with the 270. He didn't even know what hit him. He ran about five or six yards and he was done. He started wobbling and fell over. And man, this was probably one of the coolest haunts I've ever been on. So this was actually my second axis buck. My other one was pretty small, but I got him a couple years ago. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked today's video. It is super cold and rainy outside, so that's why it was an outdoor video, but I felt like you guys need to hear about these deer anyway. So <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, drop a thumbs up. So thanks for watching. Peace.